What is up people, this is VanishHQ and in this video, I'll be taking you through the process of flashing and working with the ESP12E module. Now the ESP12E module is an ESP266 which comes in this form factor. You would need to solder on the legs or just directly mount it on the PCB. Now HarleyGo was kind enough to provide me with the components, so major thanks to them. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you will need is a 12E module. Now, there are multiple modules and, the, and multiple types which are available, but for me and my project, I needed the 12E, hence I got this one. This has almost all the GPIO pins as listed over here, has an TX and RX for flashing it, and a few other pins as well. Next, what you will need is a USB to TTL module. Now what this helps you, helps you to do is it gets the input from the software that you're using, connects to a USB port of your computer and then converts it to serial which is needed for flashing a microcontroller like that. Now the one that I'll be using is a CP2102 chip. If you look at this, the, the black component over here, that's the CP2102 chip and the model that I have, it, it has 5 outputs, 3.3 volts, TX, RX, ground and plus 5 volts. But there are other modules available which will have the other pins as well, which would be DTR and reset, which would be quite useful. But since we don't have it, it's not a big worry. And the last thing we will need is a high let go 3.3 volt, 3.3 volt or 5 volt power supply module. Now this model is really nice, it takes an input of anywhere from 6 to 12 volts and then it converts it to either 3.3 volts or 5 volts depending on the jump up in position and it also has a USB output. Now there is this other module which can be used which is an FTDI module and this has all the pins which might be required which is the DTR, RX, TX, VCC, CTS and ground. This model is quite nice but since I had the CP2102 already on hand, I just went with it. Now, as, as for the wiring diagram, what we need to do is go to ESPDC 86s site. I went there, I read through it, and it does say that you can use adapters based on the FT232RL, CP2102, and CH340G. And the minimum setup required, these are all the pins and the Connect, connectors to them. Next, this is the diagram that you would you would be using if you had a normal module like the FT232RL1 which has the DTR and the reset pins. But since mine does not, I have to go with the other wiring diagram which is showed over here. So what you'll need is five 10 kilo ohm resistors, two switches, one for reset and one for flash a 100 nanofarad capacitor, a power supply, and a USB to TTL module. Now, we would be connecting the TX to RX and RX to TS, TX on the ESP and the module. Next, we, we would be connecting the ground of the module to the ground pin of the ESP8266 module and the ground pin of the power supply. That way they have a common ground. Next, you would you would pull down the GPIO 15 with a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the VCC would be connected to the VCC pin on the module but make sure to add a capacitor across the ground and the VCC that way it filters out the power input a bit next GPIO 2 will be pulled up to 3.3 volts enable pin would be pulled up to 3.3 volts the reset pin it would be pulled up to 3.3 volts and the reset switch would be connected in between the reset pin and the ground. And the same thing would be for GPIO 0, it would be pulled up to 3.3 volts and the flash switch would be connected in between the ground and the GPIO 0 pin. Once that's done, the, the model is ready to be used. Now let's fire up Arduino. 
now that we have it fired up this is the most basic blink sample which is available in the examples basics and blink what you need to do is change the built-in led to two that will be pin number two or gpio two which is where the led is connected this thing over here that is the led next what you need to do is if you don't already have the ESP8266 uh, ESP libraries or the boards in the board selection open a file click on preferences and add this URL this URL will be in the description so you can grab it from there next once you have that go to include libraries manage libraries and look for the ESP8266 library It would pop in over here, but since I already have it installed, it ain't showing up. Next, once you have that, go to the board manager and select the Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E module. Now you'll be selecting 12E because you have the 12E. Next, don't change any of these settings. L let these all be at default. Now that that's done, just connect the USB part of the USB to, uh, USB to TTL module to the USB port of your computer and it should show up in the ports um, on mine it was COM9 or communication port 9 so I just selected that so to flash it what you do is click on the upload button let's compile this sketch first and while you click it keep the flash button depressed and when it shows connecting these dots just click on the reset button and and just take your hands off both these switches and it should start flashing the chip once this is done all you have to do is just click on the reset pin since we don't have the reset pin on the flashing chip hence we'll click the reset chip uh, the reset button and it will start flashing the led on the module this is one way of doing it but the other way of doing it which worked for me is i just click the flash and then hit the reset switch that puts it in the flashing mode and then you could directly just upload it so that's it for this video all the code and the product links would be in the description so please make sure to check, check those out and this is the demo of how it looks So thank you for watching this video, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time.